Welcome back. We have Faith Leon joining us in the kitchen from Moonwalk. It's great to have you back on the show. Oh, I always love being here. We love having you here because we always make delicious <laughs> food. Uh, today's sauté beef is our is yeah. our choice. Thought we'd try something new here. Mm -hmm. um, so another really simple recipe. Here, I've already heated up the wok here. Okay. So while we're just waiting for it to heat up, we'll just go over some of the ingredients. So we have our vegetables. We're gonna do green and red peppers and carrots, some onions, sliced beef, oil, garlic. This is saute sauce, and then a peanut sauce. Mm -hmm. uh, salt, sugar, oyster sauce, uh, chicken bouillon, dark soya, uh, cooking liqueur, and then only if needed, we're gonna do the cornstarch and water. Okay, and that's just to thicken it up if it's needed? Yeah. Delightful. I don't know if we'll need it too much today because peanut sauce is a little bit thicker anyways. Okay, yeah. okay, good. So we're gonna start by just stirring up the vegetables here. Mm -hmm. What I found in making some of your recipes at home, like the Shanghai noodles, the key is in really preparing all of the ingredients ahead and having them ready to go. That's where the trick is, that's the time. Throwing them all in, this is oh, nothing, yeah. I find. This is the fun part. Yeah, we always like to get it all ready, just so when we come up here, we look like pros, right? Absolutely, <laughs> that's how it works. And of course, when you're making this, you're making them in massive quantities as well, right? Yeah, we do cook a lot. Sure. So I'm just gonna stir up some of the vegetables here. So tell me this, when you're making this, are any of these ingredients transferable with other things? I mean, what are the key ingredients that make it what it is? Um, actually, it's the saute sauce. The saute sauce is actually amazing. Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes I don't just use it in like a beef dish. I'll even just use it up as like in noodles. Nice. So in those Shanghai noodles, and if you add a little bit, it's mm -hmm. like the flavor is just so amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're gonna saute these up a little bit here. Mm -hmm. I can do that if you want. Okay, that's great. We'll put the beef in here as well. Faith is amazing because she is a little bit under the weather, but she still showed <laughs> up to do some cooking for us today. So we appreciate that. Never give up a chance to see you. <laughs> oh, that's pretty sweet. So this is the eve of your busy time, right? The weekends are busy, uh, Mondays oh, yeah. are less busy, but uh, you're just gearing up here yeah. for a busy weekend. How have things been at the restaurants? Oh, good. Good. Yeah, um, January's a little bit slower, obviously, sure. but you know we stay busy and mm -hmm. it's really nice. Gives us a little bit of break and now February's coming up and we've got a really busy pet mm -hmm. February. That's right. So as we kind of have that cooking here, we're gonna stir fry this saute sauce here. Mm -hmm. So you could get this at any one of the Asian supermarkets here. Saute sauce, and yeah. that's what it's labeled as? Saute sauce, that easy? Yeah, it's in a silver can. To stir fry that all together here. Mm -hmm. And then the this is peanut sauce. Now you can make your own peanut sauce. I just made this actually by mixing uh, peanut butter and mm -hmm. a little bit of oil. Oh, it's that easy? Yeah. Look at the secret she's sharing with us today. I know, I wish I made my job look a little bit harder. <laughs> it is hard, you're very busy and I know you are. So just a pinch of salt. Mm -hmm. And then I usually do two parts sugar, just to balance out the mm -hmm. flavor a little bit. Mm -hmm. Smells good, that peanut smell, delightful. And then the oyster sauce. Mm -hmm. I always add way more oyster sauce than you do. But I guess it's up to individual likes, right? Like, I love oyster sauce. Actually, and it adds a good flavor. I love oyster sauce uh, as well. And I find that if you use a little bit more oyster sauce, you use a little bit less salt and a little bit more sugar. And oh. it just bounces off the flavor. Good to know. Yeah, if you use too much salt, oyster sauce is really powerful of flavor. Yes. Your dish might be a little bit too salty. Mm, I just put a little chicken bouillon here. Mm -hmm. Um, and once again, remember, I'm just using a little bit of dark soy sauce just because I want to darken up the color a sure. little bit. See, and I, just looking at the texture right now, I don't think we're gonna need to thicken the up the sauce starch, at all. I don't think so either. And then my last step here is I always put a little bit of cooking liqueur just onto the side of the fry pad, mm -hmm. and it creates a little bit of steam, usually if it's just a little bit hotter, mm -hmm. and it gives it a nice little sizzle, kind of here, can you mm -hmm. get that? The sure can. Mm -hmm. And what was that again? Cookie liquor. And where do you buy that? I've never seen that on the shelves. Um, you could buy it actually at the superstore. Cooking liqueur? Yeah. In the international section? Yeah. Um, I think the brand's like, I'm gonna, like C-H-I-A-N-G. Sure. It's a really good deal actually there. And what does that do for the dish though? Like what's the flavor of that? There's not a lot of flavor into it, but it really sparks up, like it creates that sizzle, so it enhances all the other flavors in the dish. Okay. So your saute sauce is now sizzling, your pita sauce is now sizzling in it because sure. of that. Perfect, so okay. if you wanna turn this one off here. 
and then dump it out here. It's that easy, folks. It's all about the ingredient preparation. That's what I think, but you always make it look so easy. <laughs> that's because you're a good helper. Wow, that's lovely. Thank you for having us, uh, being on the show today. And again, this is the Saute Beef. If you feel like checking it out at either location of Moonwalk, one on the North Shore, one on the South Shore, to serve you best. Thank you so much and feel better. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Information on the screen there, moonwalk.ca, of course, will take you to all of the great dishes that they offer at Moonwalk. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back. Stay with us.